The first example that we're going to look at is how to blend two motion capture clips together. So I'm going to drop down a geometry container and I'm going to import my motion capture with the FBX character import. And I'm going to select my clip and drop down a bone to form. And if I hold J and drag and let go, it's going to connect all that together. This clip is kind of short, so I'm just going to extend it using the method that we looked at in the previous video, but I'll go over it again. I'm just going to drop down extract locomotion and that way our character will be walking in place. And I need to, for the locomotion joint, just go ahead and choose the hips. All right, and that should be good for now. And now let's go ahead and actually convert this into a motion clip. And now we just need the motion clip cycle node. And we're going to leave him walking in place for now, so we're not going to worry about locomotion. But I will set the cycles to, to six so that it cycles six times after. And let's see, I'm going to just switch this to overlap and set this to 0 0.5. Just so that it blends a little bit better when it cycle. And we need our motion clip evaluate. And if we put the display flag back on the bone to form, we have our character walking in place and it is cycling over and over again. So that's perfect. So now we need to import our other motion capture clip. And I'm just going to use an FBX character animation node. And the reason why is because all we care about is a skeleton. And I didn't even do what I said I was going to do. Let me go ahead and drop that again. FBX animation import. There we go. And let's go ahead and choose the walking. Oh, no, here it is, the waving.fbx. And we have a character waving. So what we want to do is we want to blend the arms, just the waving part. We don't care about anything else, like the legs or the hips or anything, just, just the arms and the hands. And so we're going to blend that on top of the animation of the character walking. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. All right, so in order to do that, I'm going to drop down a motion clip. And we'll go ahead and connect this up. And let's zoom that in just so we can see it a bit better. All right, so we need our motion clip blend node. And make sure that you put it before the motion clip evaluate, otherwise it will not work. So motion clip blend. Now let's put the display flag back here. And you'll see by default, it's going to just play that that clip that we added and then it's going to immediately cut to our walking animation. But that's not what we want. There are a couple of options here, like we have blend in so you can choose where it starts. You can choose where it ends. Now, just note that if you don't have this enabled, it's just going to start playing that second clip immediately, which is fine. But what we don't want is everything being blended. We only want a few of the we only want the arms. So I'm going to select this cursor right there. And Let's go to better frame. Can we go to better frame? Yeah, that's good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit shift and I'm gonna select the hands and yeah, I'm gonna select the arms and I'll go ahead and do the shoulder too. So I'll go ahead and do that for the other side. And I'm just gonna hit enter. And so now we should see our character walking and waving his hands. Perfect. Now we do notice that right here at the end, it just snaps because that's because the second motion capture clip ends. And so it's just snapping. And so that's why you'd want to use the blend. And so let's see, when does it, uh, let's see. So it's, it snaps out at around, what frame was that? There we go, 78. So I think what I'm gonna do is for the blend out, I'm gonna start blending out at frame 60 and then end at frame 80. And then we're going to play this again. So now we can see that that's blending a lot more smoothly than it was before. So now let's go back to that motion clip cycle node. And I'm going to, uh, where's the locomotion? Yeah, go back to cycle. And where it says locomotion, just, just choose use existing. All right, and I'm going to zoom back out. And if we go ahead and play, we can see that we have our two clips and they've been blended together and everything's looking good. There was one more thing that I wanted to cover. Let's say you want to add a motion clip to another one so that once the first clip plays, then the second one will start to play. And you can even add more than that if you want to. 
well, in that case, the motion clip blend node isn't the best, uh, the best node for that. Motion clip blend is good if you want to blend two together, but if you want to just sequentially play one clip and then immediately play another clip, then the motion clip sequence node is better for that. So I'm going to drop down a motion clip sequence and I'm going to swap this out. Instead of using the waving, I'm going to just get this break dance and I'm actually going to make that the first input of this motion clip sequence node and plug the second input into the into our walk. And so now I'm just going to plug the evaluate into it. And let me go to frame one and focus in on it. And so now what we should expect to see is it's going to play this breakdance clip first because that's going into input one. And then as soon as that finishes, it's going to start playing the second clip. I would like to point out though, that when it transitions from one clip to the other one, you'll get a really, really harsh transition if they're far apart or not in a similar position. So you kind of want to make sure the joints are in a similar position so that when it goes from one clip to the other, it's a smoother transition. Now, just like the, the previous node, you can actually use some blending. So if I, if I switch this to like, I don't know, like nine frames, you'll see that it starts blending. But even that looks kind of strange because it's, it's sort of just like a linear transition. Uh, obviously, there's some other settings for smoothing it. But if you're blending two clips or not blending, but if you're using motion clip sequence, you, you might want to make sure that the second clip has the joints in a similar position to the first clip so you don't get such a harsh transition.